Hey y'all, here I am back again with another great recipe. This one's adult friendly, kid friendly, and used to be a kid friendly. It's like having a pizza, but you can just, or, or a good bread, just wait till you make you some and taste of it. It's pizza pull apart muffins. And it's easy because we're going to start with some Grand's buttermilk biscuits. Uh, but there's a process we're going to go through. Makes it yummy. So y'all get on over here to the butcher block so we can get everything going and get us some muffins made. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I've got almost a whole stick of butter and I'm going to melt it because we're going to toss our pieces of biscuit that we cut up in this butter so all of the seasonings will adhere to it. So I'm just going to stick this in the microwave long enough to make it to where I can toss my stuff in it and I'll be right back. Go ahead and open up my biscuits and get them. And I may just do four of them because I got something else I'm wanting to make too. So I may just make half of them in this recipe and half of them in another recipe. I used to go with church with a girl she called these wop biscuits because you wop them on the thing to open them. Okay, here's one, two, three, four. Well, get out of there. And that'll leave me four for the next recipe that I want to make. So what I'm going to do with these is cut them into fourths. And just put them back in there. Maybe even smaller pieces. I think I'd like mine maybe cut three three ways, six pieces instead of four. And then I'm cutting each half into three pieces. And some of those that are bigger, I'm going to cut them down. There's my biscuits. And then I want to take this pepperoni. And when I get pepperoni, because it's so oily and I don't like all of the grease, I'll put it between paper towel in a single layer and um, pat the grease off of it. And I'm cutting this in fourths. Now, if you wanted to make this like a supreme pizza pull apart, you could either take your, if you like bell pepper and onion on it, you could either saute it ahead of time, or if you freeze it, it's soft when it thaws. I was in the store one day, I've told y'all this before, and the lady from Little Caesar's Pizza was buying all of the frozen bell pepper and onion mixture. I said, what are you going to do with all that? She said, well, we're out, and our truck hadn't gotten here, and this is what we put on the pizza. So they use frozen vegetables to put on their pizza because when you thaw something frozen, it's generally softer. So you could do that and put some in here. Okay, let's see if our butter's ready. It is, and I'm just trying to decide, do I want to... I'm just going to pull this apart a little bit more. I'm going to put some in the bottom of this bowl and I'm just going to toss the biscuits in it. Try to coat all sides of them. You know, you could use roll, yeast roll dough for this too. Doesn't have to be the biscuits. That's just what this recipe calls for and what's easy because sometimes you have them in the ice box. Now, I've got them all coated and separated to where I can sprinkle some seasoning on them. Let me get my hands clean. The original recipe calls for oregano, but I can't find my oregano, so I have pizza seasoning that I get from King Arthur Flour. So I'm going to just sprinkle pizza seasoning 
on them, and it has all of those good seasonings in it. It even has some red pepper in it, so I'm not going to even have to add red pepper to it because it's already going to have some on it. And I'm going to spray my pan a little bit. It generally does not stick. And I'm going to take some of this basil that I grew and just went outside and cut me a piece. And I wish I could smell it. I love to smell it, but my smeller's not working. And I'm going to roll it up and cut it. Okay, I'm going to put pizza cheese in the bottom. And then I'm going to put the bread. And I want to be sure it's buttered and seasoned. I'm just going to put a couple of pieces in each one. And then I'll add another one or two because I want bread and cheese all mixed up together. And a little bit, and I cut my pepperoni in pieces. And I'm just going to drop some of that in there with the bread. Make sure it kind of goes in between so when you pull it apart, you'll have all this good stuff in there. If you don't like pepperoni, brown you some hamburger meat and use it. That'll work. Okay, and in some of them, I'm going to put a little bit of basil, but I'm not going to put it in all of them. I'll do half. How's that? And then I'm going to sprinkle just a tad of Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to go ahead and dip that in the butter. Make sure it's all buttered good. And then you just put them down in there because here's what's going to happen. All of this is going to stick together as they're cooking. And you just pull them apart and you'll have parts of all the goodness on your pull apart muffins. You could use, I guess, pizza crust dough for this if you wanted to. Kind of move them around where they got cheese in there so when you pull it apart it'll be cheesy. Now I'm going to come back and put a little bit of this seasoning on the top of each of them. The pizza seasoning. And then we're going to put them in a 350 oven for 19 to 20 minutes. And, um, let it all melt and should be delicious. Okay, I got the little darlings out of the oven. And they look good and I'm sure they smell good, but I can't smell them. I'm going to tell you what. I wish I could get my hands on the ones that created COVID. I'd wring their neck. September is going to be two years since I had COVID and I still can't smell. A lot of people, though, lost their taste and their smell, so I guess I can count my blessings. We can always count our blessings, can't we? Could be worse. Okay, I'm just going to get these out, as you can see. And uh, this pan is hot. 
and I didn't take time to make fresh marinara sauce. So what we're going to do, I opened up some jarred, and I want to show y'all, because I got it at, well that's a sweet one, Costco. It's just the Bertoli, and it's organic, and here's what I do, when I put stuff in the pantry, I mark on the top of the lid the expiration date. Now I don't throw it away, but that gives me an idea. So that's just how I organize that part of my pantry. Now depending on how hungry you are, how many muffins you put in your little bowl. Normally I put the dip where the muffins are in these dishes and my chips or crackers over here, but today I thought I would do it this way. So you see how neat it is? You just pull you off a piece of biscuit and it has cheese and pepperoni and seasoning on it. You dip it in your marinara. Mmm. Make everybody wish they had one. That is delicious. Let me get some tea. <clears throat> Another way to make it yours. Now I thought if I had chopped that pepperoni up smaller. I could have rolled it in the pepperoni while it had the butter on it. But it's working out good like this. I got a big bite of red pepper. But um, you could also cut them up like this, toss them in cinnamon and sugar, and bake them and have pull apart cinnamon bread. And that's very good like that too. So just an idea. This is another thing that's good for a snack. You go shopping, you come in, everybody's hungry. If you've got biscuits in the ice box, you know, think ahead. Keep stuff like this on hand that you can make a quick little snack. Or your kids are going to bring somebody home with them. Mama, we're hungry. Granny, we're hungry. Most kids would like this. This kid does. I'm a Toys R Us, us kid. I don't want to grow up. I want to always like kids stuff and be happy and have fun. Anyway, uh, I hope y'all will try the recipe. And let me know what you think about it. I love it when you come back and say, we loved it and our family ate every bit of it and requested some more. That's what it's all about, sharing good recipes and you want to know that people use them. Now I'm going to get on with my rat killing today and see what I can get into. And I might do another video because April's been going to the dentist uh, in Mexico, across the Texas border into Mexico because it's so much cheaper than in the States and they do excellent work. A lot of our friends use the same dentist. And so when she goes to the dentist, then she'll go stay at Padre, South Padre Island, because it's just an hour away, and then she'll go back for her next appointment. So she invited me to go with her, but y'all, she's gonna be there nine days, and I just can't be gone that long. But first of the week, I may go down for two or three days, and if I do, I'll do a video there where y'all can see the water and and all of that, but um, I'm trying to get some videos ahead where if I decide to go, y'all won't think I run off and left you. So I'm going to be in the kitchen making some more and y'all will be seeing them one after the other. And they're going to be good. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. Get you some food on your shelves. Stock your pantry. Say your prayers. Stay in good touch with the good Lord because you know what? Ultimately, he's in control and he does it his way. I'm glad I know him, but I'm gladder that he knows me and he looks out for me. And if you'll have you a daily prayer meeting with him and try to keep yourself in line, you can depend on him to look out for you and be your friend and your provider and your protector and your savior. Y'all have a great day. The good Lord bless and keep you and I'll be back soon.